Three former Santa Clara County Correctional deputies were sentenced today to 15 years to life in prison for the fatal beating of a jail inmate. Deputies Jera Lugren, Matthew Ferris, and Rafael Rodriguez were found guilty of second-degree murder in June for the death of 31-year-old Michael Tyree. Tyree was found suffering from internal bleeding and damage to his liver and spleen. An investigation determined he had been beaten hours before he was found dead in his cell. The man found not guilty in the death of Kate Steinley was sentenced today on his only gun possession conviction. He received the maximum three years, but will get credit for time served. As ABC 7 News reporter Lan Melendez explains, he's not getting released right away. It was the maximum sentence for his gun possession conviction, three years. Jose Inez Garcia Serrata served beyond that. He's actually already spent around 400 days longer than the maximum sentence. Technically, he should have been released. Instead, he was turned over this afternoon to the U.S. Marshal. Garcia Serrate was recently indicted by a federal grand jury for violating state immigration and gun laws for possessing the gun used to shoot Steinle. This is a vindictive uh, prosecution. His attorneys tried to delay this action and had requested a new trial. And essentially, he was convicted for possession of a weapon based on a brief and momentary holding of a gun and throwing it into the water after it accidentally discharged. It will now be up to civil rights attorney Tony Serra to argue that in federal court. We can bring a motion to dismiss on double jeopardy grounds. Garcia Serrato was found not guilty of murdering 32-year-old Steinle as she was walking along Pier 14 on July 1st, 2015. The jury agreed with the defense, which argued that a single shot killed Steinle after the bullet ricocheted off the ground, traveling 78 feet before striking her in the back. We treated this case as we would have any other similar case. Uh, we're comfortable that the system worked the way it was meant to be, even though we're disappointed with the outcome. Garcia Serrate may be arraigned in federal court as early as this Monday. In San Francisco, Leanne Melendez, ABC 7 News.